What is the largest integer n for which n to the 2,000 is less than 5 to the 3,000? At first, we don't want to actually multiply 3,000 fives, and then after test like 6, 7, 8, and then multiply 2,000 of those, we certainly don't want to do that. So now, since they want comparing, they want what is the largest integer in which n to the 2,000 is less than 3,000, 5 to the 3,000, I just repeated that problem. Since they want us to compare them that, so that n to the 2,000 is less than 5 to the 3,000, and n has to be the greatest integer as possible. So since we want to compare, we have to use something, a strategy that we taught you a little while back, is that if you, if you want to compare two exponents and make it easy to like see how they're different, see how they're similar, alike, and how, and how to compare them very easily, you're going to have to do two things. You have to get the bases the same, and otherwise you might say n has to equal 5, the bases are the same, or the exponents are the same. And I don't know how to say that because 2,000 is not equal to 3,000. So we can just say we have to get the exponents the same. But since we don't know about this n, since that's what we're trying to find, we have to do something with the exponents. But, well, 3,000 is not divisible by 2,000, so... We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to multiply two thousand by something as a fraction to get three thousand. And what I'm saying here is, if two thousand if the south if two thousand is divisible, I mean if three thousand is divisible by two thousand, then we can just take out a factor of two thousand, and then that'll be a little easier to compare. But we can't do that now, so now we gotta use something else: the GCF, the greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor of 2,000 and 3,000, well, you can clearly see that, that's 1,000. So if I take out a factor of 1,000, we're going to use yet another rule, the power of a power rule. The rule is if a times, if you have a to the n times n, it's going e to be equal to a to the m to the in. right here so over here using this rule we can see that you know take n to the 2005 to the 3 thousand separately we have 5 to the 3 times 1000 power take out a factor of 3 we have uh, this 5 to the 3, 5 cubed, 2 to 1,000 power. And of course, 5 cubed, that's 125. Raise that to the 1,000 power. And now we're going to take n over here. So we have n to the 2,000, make that a little bigger. n to the 2,000. And again, we're gonna we want to take out the same factor because we don't want it. So it's like the exponent here is like 500, but the exponent here is 1,000. That'd be even messier. So take out the same factor of 1,000. Even though I know we can take out 500, but we just said that was wrong. So we just use our same power of power rule. N squared two to 1,000. Power. And that's the simplest way we can write it. So now, since we're asking for the n, all we have to compare is we, we want to find the largest integer n so that n squared is less than 125, the largest integer n. And then we just test 10, 11, and 12. 10 squared is 100, 11 squared is 121, 12 squared is 144, but that's larger than 125, so 11. So we have 11 squared, that's the largest integer, and so that it's less than 125. And we circle 11, and we are done.